welcome back. As we start things off this morning, we have clouds moving in. People are setting up for the parade over in downtown Rhineland. They're seeing some of the lawn chairs already out this morning. But another angle from a roof of the station though, showing some interesting clouds that are moving in this morning. And of course, some breaks in the clouds, allowing some sunshine to peek through as well. All that will get obscured very soon as we'll be watching for showers and thunderstorms that are going to be getting their act together pretty quickly. We're seeing some development already this morning, especially across parts of Violet's County, very northern tip at this point, though. The UP seeing most of that rain that's tracking from the west to the east and a little bit to the northeast, too, but noticing it's kind of going over the same area again. So decent rainfall taking place there this morning. But zooming things out, this is what we're watching. More showers and storms developing along this line here. As tracking off towards the east, and thinking for this line to move in will be about the noon time frame. So some of you that have parades this morning should be able to get those in without much issue. But it's going to be cutting it close, though, as by the afternoon, the mother, mother Nature is going to be providing her own fireworks as this area of low pressure here will be tracking off towards the east. But temperatures right now, though, are in the 60s out there already. Pretty mild for 6.07 a.m. Middle 60s over in parts of Wausau as well. Our average high is now 79 degrees for this time of the year. We'll be in the middle to upper 70s the next several days with the exception of Wednesday in the middle 70s. So overall looking pretty average for this time of the year though. Even lower 80s again by next week. But again your dew points. Let's break this down here. So 60s on the way today and tomorrow though. That is in that humid category. Cold front moves through by Tuesday. It kind of drops the dew points down as we head towards Wednesday morning. So a little bit more comfortable by that point. Thursday the dew points go back up into the 60s before they fall back again as another system moves in. So the pattern is definitely active around here though as we continue to watch these storms develop this morning. We're going to be watching this moving in by about the, the noon time frame at this point. Moving into Wisconsin by 11 a.m. Our viewing area getting close to that noon time frame. They're kind of lasting through most of the afternoon period though before they kind of clear out for a brief time frame. But more storms could be moving in again by about 10 o'clock or so. Which again, here's this, the threat for today though. A 2 out of 5 risk for some of the storms that turn strong to severe on the yellow shade though. The darker green, it's a 1 out of 5. So not 0, but a lot lower. No spots so, though. But again, large hail going to be the biggest threat though with some of the storm today, some high winds as well. Isolated tornado cannot be ruled out. And of course, heavy downpours as well. Notice that tornado threat is very low, so the big focus will be on some of the other threats. Uh, and again, as this line moves in, though, some more development could take place also by around 8 to 10 o'clock. So again, it's going to be tricky for some of those fireworks to happen later tonight. But again, once we get this through, as we head towards Tuesday, things will improve a little bit. Maybe an isolated thunderstorm, not out of the question on Tuesday. Scattered strong and severe thunderstorms today. Highs in the lower 80s and a south wind getting up to about 20 miles per hour. Later on tonight, scattered showers and thunderstorms thunderstorms, especially early, maybe calm me down later on once they all get out of here. Lows in the middle 60s, south wind at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And your Northwoods Furniture and Mattress, seven-day forecast, slight chances for showers and thunderstorms. Tuesday into Wednesday, temperatures in the 70s, maybe getting close to the 80s. Mostly cloudy on Thursday, a small chance for storms again on Friday, and then we dry out after that.